Short guys can ride KTM 690 Enduro Rs. If you're a newcomer to the channel, you guys and gals who have uh, been around for a while, give me just a sec to uh, show them the bumper and so that they can uh, see what they can expect to find here. Stand by. Oh, God. It was brought to my attention a by a subscriber named Expedition Hawk that a lot of people have done mods, <clears throat> short mods, and they're readily available on the internet. And he found ours and liked them. Uh, and how we made the KTM 690 Enduro R doable for a short guy. But what he said he couldn't find was uh, actual visual demonstrations of what the person looked like on the bike afterwards. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got a few people here of different inseam heights. We're gonna quickly share the the mods that we did and then show you what we look like on the KTM 690 Enduro R uh, with our varying loin to heel heights. So we've got, let's see here. We've got Bonnie. This is kind of weird, but it's is wild. what it is. <laughs> I'm sure they're seeing you on camera. Hey, look at there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're married. Don't worry. 31 inches. All right, Zane. Yay. Come in. <laughs> Come into Loinville. All right. Well, now you can do that <laughs> yourself. We're not married. Uh, this is my son, Zane. 32 and a half, almost 33. 30. Uh, 33. All right, Bonnie, I prefer you. <laughs> this is me, Billy J, the guy talking the loudest because the microphone's closest to me. That's a little weird. What is it? Uh, it would be 30. 30, yay. <laughs> we came up with 29 earlier, but I think it was because, you know. So we did a custom seat mod. I'll put that up in the in the uh, cards somewhere. Then I'll put it at the end of the video too. Maybe put it in the description. You can see the seat mod that we did. We had a seat concept seat available to us so we could kind of emulate that and I didn't want to buy the seat because I just like to booger things up so we did our own mod to emulate that seat with the factory seat and it worked and then the like I said the uh, Kubelink the KTM 8-2 if you do that mod we did not do a video on it but if you do that mod be really cautious and patient because uh, we pulled some spindle bearings out of it on accident had to repack them so be really careful if you do that I would suggest finding a video we, uh, on it we also did the kickstand mod which we yeah you got to do the kickstand mod if you do the uh Google link yeah, good I point get another one or yeah that was brutal <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and we did it very poorly yeah we'll go into that never and we also per the kuba instructions had to lower lower the forks at the tree three quarters of an inch so the result of all that I'm going to show you the clearances real fast and then we are going to show you what we each look like on the bike so that you can tell what you'll look like it's not important to look cool but uh tall guys don't ever um relate to this they're like man just send it but no you don't want to look like a fool at a stoplight so if you're short so the rear from the center of the tire to the apex of the dealio that is nine and a quarter to the apex so we're going to put up here what the factory is and that would probably be your biggest sacrifice because you're literally you're moving the the swing arm uh up at, in a fixed position so that would probably be the biggest sacrifice the ground clearance is ten and a quarter ten and a quarter ten and a half that's with the flatland racing bash plate which i believe we didn't do a video on that because it's just kind of obvious how to do it but i believe it'd be about the same as the factory in terms of the space it takes so we'll put the uh, factory specs for the clearances up and then you can kind of compare those so that that's the reality the math of the changes my weight is what 160. these boxes are essentially empty there's like a bungee cord in one so this is a 160 pound guy with a 30 inch inseam. I'm five foot, I want to say seven, but reality is I'm five foot six. This is a KTM 690 Enduro R. 
and here is how I look on it both feet even with the KT M8 2 Kuba link and seat lowering so maybe Zane get close to my foot there and see and tennis shoes yeah so normally I'd have boots on uh, they'd be a little taller but as you can see you know I can get the, is that the ball of your feet that's under your toes so there you go now when the bike is loaded uh, with tons of gear with these off it's maybe up fractionally so I don't look like a complete idiot at a, at a stoplight I don't think <laughs> oh not that's 30 inches. All right, here's uh, 31, Bonnie. Here's my lovely wife, Bonnaroo, on the KTM 690 Enduro R with V said mods at uh, 107 pounds, uh, 31 inch inseam, 5 foot 6, basically my height. So, and, off in the campfire. and tennis shoes that have been burned off the campfire you can see she's not quite got the ball of her foot down so i would say that my additional weight helps a little bit because my inseam is in fact shorter um <clears throat> but definitely doable so i mean you could definitely rock that bike at a stoplight and not look like you're on the wrong bike you know uh again bags are empty they are probably i don't know how much they weigh but uh, and it would have some impact. It does feel without the bags like it's a little bit taller. So here's Zane at a 130, 130 pounds, <clears throat> five foot eight, nine ish. We don't know exactly at the moment. And a 33 inch inseam. His heels are definitely off the ground, but he certainly has the most, uh, foot on the ground and as you can see they're both the same so and step back you can see the KTM 690 Enduro R is doable for short people and with those mods that we did short guys can ride KTM 690 Enduro R's this is proof you've seen the footage you've seen what we do on this bike um, uh, I've never bottomed it out I've never slammed the the tire into the well uh, and then again doing that you see how hard we ride you know how big I am so that's it call your mama today and uh, drink plenty of water look for things that make you might make you stub your toe Story motor up.